All right, guys, so it's about 7 a.m. on Monday morning. Christmas is next Tuesday, so I got a week to get this done. What I'm doing is I'm stealing my dad's car and taking it to the shop to put a new engine in it. He loves this car, and it's been down for about two years. Uh, the engine runs, but it knocks horribly. It sounds like pinballs in a paint can. Uh, so I'm going to take it up to the shop and swap the engine out. Uh, my sister and I split the engine, and my grandma went in on it also. So I'm going to worry about doing the engine swap. And then my little sister is going to come up to the shop and clean the inside and the trunk of the car out. And then once it's done and running, we're going to take it up to the car wash and clean it up. Because it's been sitting in this one spot for about two years. So I'm going to grab my Tahoe and the trailer and load this thing up. And my dad leaves in the dark for work and he gets home in the dark after work. So he should not know that this car is missing. And once it's done, I'm going to put it right back in the same spot. So when he does see it, he'll never know that it's fixed. And then give it to him on Christmas morning. So I'm going to record as much of the uh, engine swap and rebuild process as I can. So, here we go. All right, we are all loaded up, strapped down, and ready to go. So let's go install a new engine. So we've made it to the shop, and it's time to begin the teardown. And over here is the new engine. I've already done a timing belt and spark plugs to it. A couple of gaskets, so it's ready to drop in. All right, draining fluids. Got to remove the exhaust. I've already got the wheels off. I'm going to take the brake calipers off and hang them up here. I'm going to drop the cradle with the engine and tranny together. Seems like the easiest way to do this. Alright, getting close to the engine removal. I think I got every uh, hose and wire unhooked. I am going to have to swap out the engine harness because when they removed that one, they chopped it all up. I'm discharging the AC right now. I'm going to take the power steering pump off, set it aside, unhook the lines from the AC compressor, and unbolt tranny mount, motor mount, and then the cradle, and it should be ready to drop out. Alright, I started this uh, about 9 a.m. Plus I worked on other cars and took my lunch break. It's now 2 o'clock. And the old engine's out. Now I just need to swap over accessories. And uh, take the old uh, cut up wiring harness off of this one. And get ready to drop it in. Uh, I think I'm ahead of schedule. I got three days left. The rest of today, Tuesday, Wednesday and all of Thursday to get this done so we're looking pretty good all 
All right, new engine is in the cradle, bolted up to the tranny. I uh, just need to connect all the wiring and then drop the car back down on top of it. Sorry I didn't record it, but the new engine is in the car. Cradle is bolted up, struts are bolted up. Now it's just to uh, hook up some wiring hoses, fill the fluids, uh, power steering pump, and that's it. All right, she is running, fired up on the first try. Checking all the fluids, still have to fill up the AC. Do a few little things here and there, button it up, and she'll be ready to go. Can't wait to see my dad's reaction. Should be priceless, I don't know what he's gonna do. Laugh, smile, cry, be mad, I got no idea. But we'll find out soon. All right, so the car is done. AC's charged up, all the fluids are good. Just got back from the test drive and everything's working as it should. Now it's time to take it out to the car wash and wash it up real good. Outside and in, vacuum it, detail it, all that good stuff. And then put it away and hide it until Christmas. Alright guys, so today was D-Day for the Honda Civic. And I'm sure you're wondering right now, why are we looking at the ground and not the Honda Civic? Well, this is where the day started. Back here. So I did not realize that it rained last night. Came back here with my Tahoe to hook up the trailer. Tried to pull out and it didn't work out very well for me. Started sinking. So I went and got my S10. And I was going to try to pull out my Tahoe. Or Yukon, whatever. Same difference. And that's where the S10 got stuck. So then I used a come along to pull the Yukon and the trailer out and I knew I wasn't going to make the turn with the other S10 over here so I decided to unhook it and keep using the come along to pull it out it kept spinning the tires and getting stuck and then we got my sister's car out here and it pulled it out the rest of the way um yeah anyway Later this afternoon, I was able to get my S10 out, but uh, let's go talk about the Honda. So here is the Civic, and it still runs, but it doesn't drive. So after this morning of getting the Yukon stuck and the S10 stuck, and then finally getting the Yukon out after an hour and a half of pulling and tugging, I decided that I was going to drive the Honda back and have my wife drive the Yukon back. That plan was a very bad idea because the transmission on the Honda went out five miles away from the shop. And because I couldn't go get my trailer, we had to use a tow strap and towed it 33 miles home. With all that said, my dad was really excited slash speechless about the engine swap. But I am really upset about the transmission. So the... The job was a success, but at the same time, it was kind of a fail. But with the new engine being in it, and the interior being all nice and cleaned out, we did clean the inside. Uh, he is more motivated to put a transmission in it than he was to put an engine in it. So, it won't be long before this car is back on the road. So, at the end of the day, it was all good. Everything worked out. So thanks for watching guys. See y'all next time.